Last week with the official launch of Fab for Unreal Engine, and there are a lot of changes that have been made to the way we all use Unreal. Adding Quixel Megascans no longer works the way it used to, and the way to do it now is a bit quirky and unintuitive at first. A lot of people are confused about how it works, but that is what I'm here to help you all with today. Full disclosure, and a bit of a shameless plug, Easy Fog, Easy Snow, and Easy Mapper are now all available on Fab. I'll put the link to all of these down below. Easy Mapper specifically has just been updated today for reasons we'll get into real soon, because with the release of Fab, the core functionality of Megascan's textures has been changed. So without further ado, let's get started. When you open up Unreal Engine, the old way to add Quixel content with a click here and add assets with the Quixel bridge. This is being deprecated and you'll see I'm not even able to add assets anymore. So close your Unreal project. And what we need to do now is enable the Fab plugin. This is easy. We simply open up the Epic Launcher, go to your library, and you'll see we have the Fab library at the bottom here. Let's search for our Fab and you'll find the necessary Fab plugin right here. Click on Install to Engine and add it to your engine version of choice. If you don't see the Fab plugin, just hit the refresh button and it should pop up. Bear in mind, this is only available for our Unreal Engine 5.3 and later. So if you're on 5.2 or earlier, you're kind of out of luck for this one. Once you're done, open up a project and you'll get a web browser popping up asking you for permission to access your Epic account. Just click confirm, it is a one-time thing. And now you should find the Fab button right here. Assuming you're using the Unreal Engine 4 layout, like the good Lord intended. Otherwise, you can also access it up here in the window drop-down menu. With this window, you can navigate to the menu here and you will find anything you need. Here's your library, which will contain everything you've ever purchased on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. You'll also find anything that is available for purchase, any assets or plugins or tools you might need, all built into one convenient location that you can easily add to your project directly within the editor. Now, Let's talk about Megascans. If you want to find Megascans specifically, this is what I recommend you do. With Fab open, you'll see that at the time of this recording, there is no dedicated Quixel or Megascans filter. But what we can do is to simply type Quixel in the search bar, go to creators here, and then choose Quixel on the list. Doing this will create a Quixel filter. It's a little unintuitive and I hope the team at Epic improved this, but for the time being, this little workaround works really well. From there, you can narrow down your search with additional filters and tags, or type in something more specific that you need. Now to add the mega scans to your project, just select the quality level you want, and in this case I've chosen high quality, and hit add to project. If you haven't already, make sure you claim all of the mega scans assets that are free until the end of 2024. You should get a small prompt for it when you select any Megascans asset in Fab. And you can see in my case, they have already been claimed. This is a one click process. So don't worry, it's really easy, but you only have two months left to do this. So hurry up. Once downloaded, your content browser will automatically open up the asset in question, the model materials and the relevant textures. It's really as simple as that. And the functionality from there is exactly the same as it used to be with one small exception. And that's when it comes to the textures. Previously, Megascans textures used the ARD packing for textures, which stands for ambient occlusion, roughness, and displacement, all packed into one texture. This has now been changed to ORM, which is ambient occlusion, roughness, and metallic, with the displacement map coming in separately. This shouldn't change how you work too much, and while it might seem a little bit annoying, there is actually a benefit to this. Previously, anything that was metallic in the Megascans library never looked right. Things that were metal never had the metallic map plugged in correctly. And those of you who've been using Unreal Engine 5 for a while probably noticed this. But now everything looks the way it should. So to me, this is a welcome change. That is why I had to release an update for EasyMapper, allowing the use of ORM textures as well as the legacy ARD approach that we used before. I added a new fab version of the master material so that nothing in your project will break if you update. One thing I noticed with fab is that mega scan surfaces don't include displacement maps or height maps like they used to. According to the fab FAQ, this seems to be intentional, stating that they removed displacement maps they felt were subpar. Whether this means they will be replacing them eventually, 
I don't know, but I'm really hoping that Epic rectifies this in the future because even if a displacement map is low quality, having something is better than nothing. There is, however, a way to access the displacement maps if you absolutely need them. And that is by going to the actual FAB website that can be accessed in the Epic Launcher, find the surface or the assets you want, click download, and you'll find all of the relevant textures you might need right here in a zip file. From there, you can unzip it and import the displacement map into your project manually. That is probably my biggest gripe with the Quixel integration in Fab right now. But again, I'm sure the devs at Epic are aware of this and will rectify this sooner than later. There are absolutely some growing pains with the release of Fab, and I understand a lot of people are frustrated, but there are improvements happening with every passing day, and I'm pretty confident that things will keep improving from here on out. Just give it a little bit of time. And that is all you need to know about Fab integration with Megascans. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, folks, happy rendering.